Today we're going to review the Convoy S2 Plus UV light and you can click on the link in the description to see which one I got. It uses the Convoy S2 Plus body and a high quality Nchia 365 nanometer UV LED. It's the best UV light you're ever going to get because it's got the spectral distribution that you need for UV light. Most of the light that it emits is in the UV spectrum which is non-visible light which is exactly what UV lights are supposed to do. The cheaper UV lights will produce a lot of purple and you can see that and it's not real UV light. It's just visible light. What you want it to produce is UVA instead of UVB or visible light. So UVA is 315 nanometers to 400 nanometers and that's the exact range which this produces light in. So let's take a look at what this UV light can do. The number one use of UV lights is to check if money is real, passports, IDs, visas, all that stuff is real. And as you can see here, this light definitely does that job no problem. It lights up passports, IDs, money, everything. This is the best UV light because it brings out the most in the fluorescent material. So a lot of governments will put fluorescent material into their currency, into their IDs, passports, all that stuff. This light works perfectly to see that. You want to get this UV light just to check out what your passport looks like. The new Canadian passports actually has something new on every single page. So that's pretty cool. US currency has a strip of fluorescent material inside it. Euros has spheres and stars and fluorescent. And even this bill has a hidden telescope on it. The 50 pounds says 50 pounds and it really means it. And Canadian paper bills have embedded circles that are fluorescent in it. If you have a store or you're a merchant and you're selling stuff and you're worried about people returning fake goods, you can mark it with a fluorescent marker, wipe off the visible portion, and then the fluorescent material remains behind and you can easily spot that your item is yours. So you can mark your bags with it, mark your stereo equipment, electronics, anything like that. Nobody can tell that you've marked it and if they try to return it and doesn't have the fluorescent marking on it, you can tell them that it's fake and get lost. So check out this bag, you can definitely tell it's mine. You can mark the outside of it even, and then you can easily spot if it's yours without having to touch it. This light is particularly good at charging up photoluminescent material, so glow-in-the-dark material. I bought some glow-in-the-dark pens from the dollar store, and I marked this up, and it lights it up pretty good. So you can do fun stuff with it, like charge up the stars on the ceiling of your kid's bedroom or on the wall, and it looks pretty awesome. And I'm sure every kid out there has glow-in-the-dark stars. If they don't, go out and get some. So checking money and playing with glow-in-the-dark items is pretty cool. But you can also use it to check cleanliness. So if you're a hotel manager, you can use this light to check the bedding, the washrooms, make sure everything's clean. Bodily fluids actually light up fluorescent, so you'll be able to spot anything that's strange. So we just checked into this hotel, and let's take a look at the washroom and see how dirty this toilet is. As you can see, they've tried to clean it, but there's still a lot of urine running down the sides here. And there's definitely a lot of urine on the back wall. It's not a big deal because you're not going to touch the back wall, but it looks pretty nasty. The light switch and the TV remote are probably going to be the dirtiest spots because that's where people touch. And by the looks of it, the light switches are definitely dirty. The TV remote is definitely dirty as well. As you can see, the record button is probably used to select things in the pay-per-view menu, so that's probably why it's the dirtiest. The shower doesn't look too dirty. There's just some weird stuff close to the drain. So the UV light is definitely useful for hotel managers and the cleaning staff. You could probably give the UV light to the cleaning staff and then they can do a better job in cleaning up everything because they can use it to help see where all the dirty stuff is. This toilet was cleaned, but as you can see, there's still a bunch of foreign material on there and you can scrub away at it, clean it some more. You can even use the light to see where you're cleaning. After you're done cleaning, it's spotless. You know those water dispensers that you see in public? If you wonder if they're clean or dirty, you can take this light up to it, check it out, and you can see a lot of foreign material on there. You can't be certain what that material is, but you know it's not supposed to be there, so at least this light lets you know that. So the LED that it uses is very good, and the flashlight host that it's put in is also very good. The Convoy S2 Plus has a great reflector, it's like 99% efficient, pushes all that light out the front, and has a great distribution. So it's got a 20 degree beam angle and a 73 degree field angle. That allows you to search the room for anything, and then when you see something out of the corner of your eye, you can focus in on it with a beam. Compared to any cheap UV LED light, this one blows everything else away. It's a very powerful UV light. It produces 1,170 milliwatts of UV light, and the spectral distribution is awesome. It's right around 365 nanometers. The only mode it has is on and off, and that's all you really need. And it works perfectly with a nice tail switch. Another thing it can do is do a tail stand, so you can sit it out on the table, light up the entire room with it, and then just watch movies with black light on. It's kind of like cosmic bowling. Or you can just chill in the room with the black light on. Everything looks pretty cool with the black light on. Obviously you have to turn off the lights, but it still looks pretty awesome. We'll quickly take it apart, take a close look at the LED here. It's definitely the Nichia 365 nanometer LED, not a knockoff or a fake. 
It's a high quality LED and has a high quality driver that has two 7135 current limiters on there. Each one gives you 350 milliamps. So that's 700 milliamps to the LED total. So in conclusion, this UV light is very powerful. It has perfect spectral distribution. It lights up anything that's fluorescent, photoluminescent, glows in the dark, lights it all up, charges it up perfectly. You can see all your passports, your money. You can see how dirty your washroom is, your bathtub, your toilet. The Convoy S2 Plus is also a very strong light. You can drive over it with a car and it barely gets scratched. This is also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about carrying it around or anything. In conclusion, this is a great black light. It's awesome to have. There's a bunch of stuff you can check out with it, and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good black light. Also, just to let you know, urine is fluorescent, but if you think you're going to be able to see blood with it, that's not going to work. The iron in the blood actually absorbs the UV light, and if you look at blood splatter with it, it actually will look black like this. Since it absorbs the UV light, it just shows black, and everything around it, if it's more fluorescent, then you can see the blood spots, but that's not really helpful at all. So if you think it lights up blood, definitely doesn't. The thing they do in the movies where they spray it and then use a black light over it, that's just a thing inside movies. When you actually spray the blood, it releases light for a small period of time, like 20 seconds, then you can spot it, but you don't need to use a UV light or anything. Anyway, someone probably thought that blood lights up with black light, so just wanted to let you know it doesn't. So in Dexter, they're using the UV light all wrong. It was just for show. So if you want to buy this light, click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little video about the UV light. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.